wild pigs live together in groups called sounders. So when I hang with my peeps, I call them sounders. 50 pounds of chicken split evenly between three families. We're going to be understanding from this example what fractions mean using mixed numbers. Now, it's cheaper to buy food in large amounts, and you may know that your families sometimes do that, buy large amounts of food at various places. But if families do it together, they can be, buy even larger amounts of, say, chicken. And they're going to split it. When you split something into even amounts, you're dividing it. So 50 pounds divided by three families. Three goes into five once. How much does each family get? One times three is three. Subtract. And bring down the zero. Three goes into twenty-six. And six times three is eighteen. The remainder would be two-thirds of a pound. So each family will get sixteen and two-thirds of a pound of chicken. Now how do we know we're right? Well we can do that we can do the reverse or the inverse operation of division, which is you are correct, multiplication. So we're going to multiply 16 and 2 thirds times how many families? Three families. And we're hoping that that comes back to 50 pounds. Well, let's do it. Let's split up our operation. First, we'll multiply 3 times 16 and then 3 times 2 thirds. 3 times 6 is 18. Regroup. Remember, there's a 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Now, let's multiply 3 times 2 thirds. Well, 3 times, we could put a 1 under the 3 if you'd like. 3 times 2 is 6 over 3. What is 6 divided by 3? 2. Add 50 pounds. So when we divided 50 by 3, we got 16 and 2 thirds pounds. When we multiplied 3 times 16 and 2 thirds, we got 50 pounds also.